And before we go, the Minister of Communications, Esla Usu Kufo, has rejected claims by the minority in parliament that she erred in directing the Ghana Broadcasting Corporation to close down three of its six digital terrestrial channels. Uh, the minister in a letter written and also dated 26th June 2020 to the Director General of the GBC he gave the corporation 60 days to shut down three of the channels and hand over the space back to the ministry. Government says digital terrestrial platform is at its maximum capacity of 40 and the directive is to ensure the leftovers government could use in times of emergency for national broadcast. Now, the minority member of parliament on the communications uh, committee, Samuel George, says... The move is an interference in the work of the state broadcaster and is asking the National Media Commission to step in. Does the Minister for Communications have the authority, the legal mandate, to instruct the GBC to shut down three of its channels? The GBC is not an agency under the Ministry of Communications. The GBC is under the Ministry of Information. We would have loved to see a directive from the sector minister this is akin to the Minister for Interior writing to the Chief of Army Staff, instructing him to release military men from the 5th Infantry Battalion, when the Minister for Interior has no mandate or control over the Ghana Armed Forces. That's the Minister of Defense's remit. If the Minister for Communication did have any need for channels, the right procedure would have been to request of her colleague minister, the Minister for Information, to respond or do what she wanted to do. So we want to understand if the Minister for Information was in the know, because we see in the letter that he was copied. It was not a joint letter written by both of them. The next question we want to ask is, what is the reason for government's need? We are told that the DTT is, if you read the Minister's letter, she says that the DTT is at full capacity and government does need spectrum. Well, if government needs spectrum, the ministry should rather be focused on completing the digital switchover. Because when they complete the digital switchover, you're going to have a lot of white spaces, which is additional spectrum for governments to use. I mean, this is, for want of a better phrase, a lazy approach at trying to get spectrum, if really the need is spectrum. Because if the need is spectrum, everybody knows that when you do the digital, digital switchover, you're going to get a lot of analog spaces that national security, whatever government considerations. In fact, it's going to have considerations for bandwidth in the country and speed of bandwidth. So the ministry should have rolled over or done the switch over in 2017. It's almost it's three years and over late, and the ministry is finding shortcuts uh, to get spectrum. Again, we want to understand what the real need for spectrum is. Another question we want to ask the Ministry of Communications is, is this not another example of state capture? Well, so that's it for the news. But uh, Elizabeth Drua of Ghana Commercial Bank, Kaswa Branch, uh, you're celebrating your birthday. And Delson of the National Health Insurance Authority says have a great day and have a happy birthday. But that's where we end the news. We'll be back with the review of the newspapers next.